My name is Johan Terve, VP Marketing at Tilo Business Unit at Enea. In this video, I will talk about how Aptilo IoT Connectivity Control Service, or for short IoT CCS, helps mobile operators to hyperscale their IoT connectivity services. Let's first look into what enterprises really need. Of course, they need secure and seamless end-to-end -end connectivity, but more than that, they need the operator to take care of the security for them. They also need rapid deployment and low total cost. And they need to sit in the driver's seat, having full control over all connections through self-management portals, setting up things like VPNs, firewall settings, traffic filtering rules, having control of bandwidth and data usage, location and time of day policies and other types of tailored policies for their business case. And they also need to have control over IP assignments so that they can assign certain ranges or IP addresses to the devices. And this must work globally so that it is a global unified IoT service. They also, of course, want predictable global connectivity with reasonable charges. And they also need to comply with local rules that may prohibit permanent rooming. So we think operators must rethink IoT. If they just repackage a standard offering, adding simple SIM management, they will quickly come into what we call the churn zone where they can be replaced by the lowest bidder. So the only successful strategy to, to win that market is to be the price volume leader. Uh, and, and then you can actually profit from also simpler services. But in order to really increase the customer stickiness, you need to go further to the right where you add more business value for customers, things like private networks with VPN, analytics, managed security, global connectivity, granular policies, etc. But today, most operators then are stuck in what we call every customer is a project zone. And that means that every customer becomes a tailor-made project and a big effort to, to deploy. And in order to really profit from this, we believe that they need much more auto-customization and customer self-management to, to go up to the uh, upper right soon, which we call the high profit soon. But can operators' current processes and their mobile core really take them there? Well, what most operators offer today is a basic service that can be instantly deployed but they are in what we call the churn zone there. And they can also many times provide exactly what the customer asks for. But then again, they are in the every customer is a project soon. The deployment takes months to huge costs. And there are few customers uh, in their market that are prepared to pay that extra cost. So what about all those customers that are prepared to pay for value-added services, but not for tailor-made customization projects? There is a solution for that. And that is to add a programmable hyperscale layer of IoT connectivity control and security. Utilizing hyperscalers like Amazon AWS to add that layer uh, to provide global connectivity, IoT analytics, um, APNs with, with VPN connectivity, manage security and, and to, to let the customer have granular policies. And a service that can instantly be deployed at low cost because of a high degree of automation and also customer self-management. With this, they can move many of the customers they do uh, tailor-made projects for today over to this uh, flexible layer instead, and then free up 
resources to really make the customization projects for customers that really need it. So with that, they can enter the high profit soon. Let's now look into the layers in a hyperscale IoT solution. First, the mobile operator have their own network. Then they have their network of um, partner uh, operators globally. Uh, it can also be uh, connectivity providers like uh, Ericsson IoT Accelerator that, that provide that connectivity. And then we suggest they add this programmable IoT connectivity control layer which is the Aptilo IoT CCS that is deployed for every customer with a separate instance on uh, Amazon AWS. And then integrate to customer self-management and connectivity management. The Aptilo IoT CCS architecture is quite simple. In this overview, you can see that you only have to e extend one standard APN to the Aptilo IoT CCS. And then you can uh, integrate with packet gateways through IPsec tunnels in up to the Aptilo IoT CCS. And uh, also the Aptilo IoT CCS need to have a signaling connectivity to the packet gateways through SGI, GI or N6 interfaces. Then they can connect partner operators, as you can see here, or global connectivity providers like the Ericsson IoT Accelerator. And in the cloud, we uh, at Enea Aptilo handle the policy control, the, the control layer of the connectivity. And Fortinet is handling the traffic layer or user uh, layer with their, their uh, FortiGates next generation firewalls. So both firewalls and VPNs are handled by Fortinet, our partner in the Aptilo IoT CCS. And the enterprise customer can then select to have some traffic going out directly to the internet protected by firewalls and some traffic through secure VPN tunnels. And with this, they can get a very, very flexible IoT connectivity control, which is unified globally through also partner operator networks. So with that short overview, I hope you got the understanding on what we mean by adding a hyperscale IoT connectivity layer. Thank you for listening.